Hello, friends, and welcome to Storytime. Today, we're going to be reading a book called The Girl with a Parrot on Her Head. This book is written and illustrated by Daisy Hurst. So this is the front cover. This is the back cover. And this is the spine. And the spine says, The Girl with the Parrot on Her Head. OK, friends, let's get started. The Girl with the Parrot on Her Head by Daisy Hurst. This is the title page. Once there was a girl with a parrot on her head. Her name was Isabel and she had a friend named Simon. Hmm, what are they doing? Looks like they're drawing a picture. Maybe they're making a map together under a table. Who is very good with newts. Hmm. Looks like they're playing with some newts. But one day, Simon went away in a truck and he never came back. Oh, it looks like his family was moving. Look, they're packing up his couch and the dresser and there's lots of boxes. He's leaving, he's moving. For a while, Isabel hated everything. She didn't like her toys, she didn't like drawing, she didn't like her books. The parrot went to sit on top of the wardrobe. Until Isabel felt quiet inside and decided to like being on her own. The girl with the parrot on her head did not need friends. She had the parrot on her head and hmm, she has a scooter. She can jump in the puddles and do hula hooping and climb a tree, make arts and crafts, play with a castle, play with a little monster, read a book by the window. She had a system. She sorted things out with the help of the parrot and pushed all the boxes to a corner of her room. So this says castles, cars, bears, monster, the dark, hats, ducks, hula hoop, wolves, broken umbrellas, houses, etc. Sometimes at night, the parrot felt worried about the boxes, especially the box of wolves. There's the wolves up there. Pa, said the girl with a parrot on her head. Don't be such a scaredy parrot. But secretly, she was worried too. She thought that one of the wolves might be too big for the system. Hmm, Uh-oh, that wolf might get out. So when she found the biggest box she'd ever seen, the girl with the parrot on her head called out, aha, this book is perfect for the wolf. So maybe she's gonna put that wolf in this box over there. However, something was already inside. Oh, said Isabel, is this your box? Huh, it's a kid inside of a box. Sort of, said the boy. I was going to use it for a den. Why not a castle, asked Isabel, or an ostrich farm, or a space station next to the moon? No reason, said the boy, whose name was Chester. But what did you need it for? Isabel explained about the wolf. And she's explaining everything about the wolf. You can't keep a wolf in a cardboard box, said Chester. They're supposed to live in forests far away. Oh, said Isabel. Well, could you please help me tell the wolf to go? Isabel and Chester told the wolf about the forest, 
great plains and mountains far away where a wolf could run and stop to howl and run again all day and night. Hmm. You think the wolf's gonna wanna leave? Well, it did. The wolf left at once. Look, he's on some sort of motorcycle with all the little wolves there too. And the, they're, yelling, they're saying goodbye. So, said Chester, how about this box? The girl with the parrot on her head liked being on her own, but Chester had a way with umbrellas and tape. Ooh, what are they gonna do? And Isabel knew where to find Martians and helmets and string. Wow, look, they're in the kitchen. They found a colander. I think they're gonna use that as a helmet. Wow. The space station, well, it really needed two astronauts. They built a space station out of the box and they put all her toys outside of it. And it definitely needed a parrot with a teacup on its head. Look, the parrot also joined as an astronaut. The end. This book was called The Girl with the Parrot on Her Head. Thanks for joining me for story time, friends, and I'll see you next time.